I work at McDonald's. I had a customer throw his burger at my face at 1 o'clock this morning because his pickle was not in the center of the freaking bun. What's the meanest thing a customer has ever done to you and how did you react? I was working drive through one day when a woman ordered a large orange high C. She gets to the window and I see there are three other people laughing pretty hard. I take her money and give her the drink. About 2 seconds later I hear fire in the hole and see a large orange grenade flying at me. Somehow I ninja the pop back into her Audi. She even had the nerve to ask my manager for her money back. I went through a McDonald's drive though once and the place was slammed inside and out. After ordering I was asked to park next to the curb and someone would bring my order to me as soon as possible. A girl walks up to my car visibly shaken and as she approaches my car to hand me my food she says please don't slap me. I said what she said the last lady she delivered the food yelled at and slapped her across the face because the food took so long. Jesus. Fast food service PTSD is not okay. I worked at a local sports bar and had two men and their dates come in, along with their children. These women had three children with them age approximately 2-5. The 5 year old was running around the restaurant picking food off of people's plates. The middle child was changing the TV stations in the middle of baseball playoffs. The youngest child was sleeping on the table while these couples proceeded to drink margaritas. I served them their food and immediately as the youngest. Sleeping child took a bite he proceeded to vomit, completely covering the table. I attempted to be a hospitable server and cleaned it up expecting that the customers would be appreciative. Nope. Ordered more margaritas. At that point I refused to serve them anymore. They each had two margaritas. Because they were extremely disrespectful and I was not comfortable serving alcohol to people who are responsible for getting children home safely. That's where crap hit the fan. These women proceeded to stand up and scream at me from across the table saying, You don't know me, motherfucker, you want some? To which I had my manager come over and kick them out. The kicker? Before they left, they poured out two full ketchup bottles underneath the table and left no tip. Somebody's little brat came by me and took food off my plate. I'd lose my crap. I know a guy who got fired from his job managing a Burger King after he called a customer a C for throwing their drink in his face. It was diet and they wanted regular. This customer customer can do whatever they want mentality needs to end. I would rather shop at a place where they respect their employees anyway. A rather large woman told me I was stupid and would never be worth anything because I didn't make her large ice cream cone big enough, even though I followed our store's guidelines. I reacted by giving her a huge ice cream cone, because you know, the customer is always right. I assume if she does that everywhere, she'll die of obesity soon enough. I assume if she does that everywhere, she'll die of obesity soon enough. That's horrible. I still laughed. Have an upvote. I work in a water park. We have a minimum height requirement for many of our slides, and most of the time the parents might get a little annoyed and the child might be upset, but they accept it and move on. Not for one time. The dad comes up with his son wanting to ride our biggest slide, and his son was short by about 2 inches. He went into a rage when I told him that his son wasn't tall enough, and went on about all the money he spent to get in there, etc. At this point I blew the signal for supervisor on my whistle. The dad continues his tirade, and starts insulting me, swearing at me, saying that I'm going nowhere in my life and that I'll be working there my entire life. I was a 17 year old girl, and the job was to save up for university. It was all I could do not to cry. He kept puffing his chest out like a teenager and moving forwards, so eventually my back was to the slide with only a couple inches of ground left. Just as my supervisor rounded the last flight of stairs the man decided it would be good to give me a shove. I lose my balance, and fall backwards head first into the slide. I hit the slide with my head so hard that I blacked out, and only woke up about 10 seconds later when I hit the water at the bottom. I was obviously very disoriented and the guard at the bottom jumped in for me and grabbed me. The staff were concerned about my neck so I got the fun experience of being put onto the spinal board and having an ambulance come to pick me up. I had a concussion but nothing worse than that. Thank god. The man was arrested for assault and tried to counter sue the water park. He lost. I didn't get any money but did get a nice promotion. I still work there but not running the slides anymore.
Now I'm just a lifeguard. TL. DR. A man got mad at me and shoved me down a slide, giving me a concussion and making me black out. I had a woman throw a foot long subway sub at my head because I wouldn't give it to her free. The story. This woman sent her 7 year old into the store to get the sandwich with a note listing the ingredients she wanted on it. At the cash. I rang in the sandwich. And the little girl passed me one filled out sub club card. Used to be good for a 6 inches sandwich with purchase of a 28 ounce drink. And just stood there. I cleared the cash and rang it in a game discounting half the sub and charging on a drink. I told the girl how much and she just stood there looking at me. I asked what was wrong and she said that her mom never gave her any money. I asked if her mom was outside and if she could go get her. The girl left and came back in crying and getting towed behind a raging mammoth of a woman who was demanding to talk to my manager about how she was being disrespected. I explained to her the usage of the card and pointed out where the details were printed on tech card. She screamed reached over the counter, grabbed the sandwich and then threw it at my head. My manager later saw the security footage and called me laughing his butt off about it. Poor girl growing up with a mom like that. I had a customer come into my workplace about 6 years ago who was upset because her breadsticks were cold. After putting up with about 5 minutes of vicious abuse, she called me every terrible name under the sun. I finally told her that she couldn't talk to me that way. She responded with this absolute gem. I can talk to you however I want. You're just a pizza girl. Well, snap. I lose it. I was paying my way through university and was holding down two jobs as well as my schooling. I was tired and stressed. I didn't know until this point that seeing red was an actual thing. I literally saw red. I think it was probably my blood pressure. I proceeded to tell her that she was a small, spiteful, stupid woman, who would never amount to anything and she didn't deserve to if she thought the best way to make herself feel good was abusing 19 year old girls. Also lectured, screamed at, her that work is work, and the act of trying to support myself was honorable in itself. She ran away and sent her husband in. He threw the bread at me and a napkin holder off one of the tables and started yelling. The security guard saw and grabbed him while the manager called the police. He got arrested, released later because I decided not to press charges. Not worth the stress. I've never been so angry in my entire life. TL. DR. A woman called me terrible names over breadsticks. I spewed wrath like the fires of Mordor at her. She sent in her husband and I had him arrested for assault after he threw things at me. Upvote simply for that simile of murder. I used to work at Applebee's. One of my tables was an elderly couple and what I assumed was their granddaughter. They ordered their food, steak, salad, and chicken fingers. In the kitchen, a random server, let's call him Matt, was running people's food because everyone was busy. Well, the table next to mine belonged to a server named Ashley. Matt accidentally ran Ashley's food to my table. He asked the old couple if they were the table that had ordered a chicken penne pasta, onion rings, and a chocolate dessert, all of which were completely different than what they had ordered. They said yes. Then then proceeded to yell at the manager about how wrong their food was and how bad of a server I was. I hate people. Oh my god I used to hate that crap. I don't know about Applebee's but we used to have to name each item as we put it down and then ask if everything was okay. The worst was when people started eating the food or dang near finished it before saying something. It's like really man. What the frick. This didn't happen to me but I'll tell it anyways. My girlfriend used to work at a Dunkin Donuts in Miami and as you can imagine had to deal with many buttholes. The guy that takes the cake on this one though is the one who asked for his coffee sweet and was unsatisfied. When he got his coffee, it wasn't sweet enough so instead of putting more sugar like a normal human being would, he opened it up and threw the boiling hot coffee at my girlfriend's shirt. The guy then left and drove off. Her burns weren't too bad but all she got out of it was the day off. I don't understand why people don't call the police when this crap happens. I was working at a gas station a few years back and graveyard shift. It was around 1am when a really heavy guy walks into the store with a brown bag on his head. He comes up to the counter and shows me the brick he has in his hand. He says that if I don't give him the money in the register he will beat me to death with the brick. Now I am a pretty big dude so I start to smile at him. 
This sets him off and he chucks the brick at me, but it flies right past me to the side. He then runs out of the store. I call the cops and the manager. I end up getting fired for not just giving him the money. What was their reasoning for firing you? Worked at a subway. Customer robbed me at gunpoint. Co-worker in the back saw this and called the cops. Ran out the back door and around the building. When the dude left, my co-worker snapped a pic of the license plate. Sucker didn't think of that. Police come yada yada. Next day the sucker comes in and orders a sandwich like nothing happened. Then he sat down to eat it. I called the cops again and they caught him in our store. Delivered an exchange pizza. First pizza was wrong toppings. I gave them the correct pizza and asked for the incorrect pizza back. The whole family came out to the front yard and started yelling at me about how they deserve to keep the first, incorrect pizza, as compensation. Then, they brought out two pit bulls and threatened to send the dogs after me. I told them to go frick themselves, got in my car and called the cops. Just last week at the restaurant where I work I was serving a table of three people, two girls and one guy. I had already taken out the food to the girls, and was bringing out the curry dish that the guy had ordered when I slipped. My shoes are flats that have next to no grip. One slid on the floor. I stumbled, and his food was on the floor. Of course I apologized right away and said the chef would make him another immediately. The dish he'd ordered was also one of the easiest things on the menu to prepare, and I knew the chef would have another one ready in about 2 minutes. The guy said that was fine, and that he understood that accidents happen. I was thanking my good luck that I'd gotten a friendly customer, and then one of the girls said that if we were remaking his, we'd have to remake all of theirs because they weren't going to sit around for half an hour and let their food get cold while they waited for us to make another dish for the guy. I started explaining that the new dish would only take 2 minutes, and the guy started saying that they could go ahead and start eating without him when the two girls flung their ceramic plates loaded with hot noodles and sauce at me. One missed and shattered the glass cover on the table next to them. The other struck me in the forehead. I have a bruise from the plate now, mild burns on my face and chest from the hot food, and my nicest, and most expensive, white work shirt is potentially ruined from being hit with a full serving of noodles. I sent it to the dry cleaners. We'll see if they can save it. The guy got furious with them and shouted a lot about how stupid they were. He was also nice enough to shout for my boss right away, call an ambulance, help me up, and make sure I wasn't seriously injured. He even offered to pay for all the damage that the two girls had done. My boss refused that offer after listening to what happened, insisting that the guy had done nothing wrong, and that the girl were the ones who would have to pay, not him. Those girls got banned from the restaurant and had to pay a fair bit for all the damage they did. They're also paying my salary during this week off for recovery. The guy got his replacement meal free, and my boss told him to come back anytime, without the girls, and we'd give him a nice discount on future meals. Where I used to work a grandmother came in with her granddaughter to purchase a bathing suit. They came up to purchase a green strippy swimsuit the young girl had on. The price was $18.99. The grandmother swore it was on sale. So I had an employee check the price on the other suits just in case that suit had gotten missed in the markdown. It was not on sale. When I told the lady this, she flipped her lid. She paid for it anyways cause her granddaughter was already wearing it and I wasn't about to be nice and tell her it didn't matter if the granddaughter was wearing it and she could go take it off. As she was leaving she stopped, turned and looked at me and said I do not wish you well in life. I was completely and utter baffled that someone would go so far to say something so cruel over a $19 bathing suit for a grandchild. I worked in retail a bit my senior year of high school and some time after. I once had a customer that I was ringing up rudely asked me if I had gone to high school and said I was probably a dropout, towards the end of a transaction, to which I just gave an exaggerated shrug, gave a dumb smile, and crossed my eyes as I handed her her bag. I've recently become a manager at McDonald's. Unfortunately, managers are required to deal with all of the angry customers. There's a guy who comes in frequently, read, two or three times a day, and gets an iced coffee made in a very specific way. Apparently, one morning we messed it up. He comes in, 32 ounce coffee in hand, and asks for a manager. I step up to the counter and say I'm a manager. How can I help you? 
He takes the lid off of his coffee and throws it at me. I'm soaked in pee and ask him to leave. He refused to leave until I remade his coffee. A few of the regulars, local truckers who come in every day for coffee and conversation, got up and stood on either side of him and one of them said that kid asked you to leave. I think that's probably a good idea. He left. Long story short, take care of your good customers and they'll take care of you. When I worked in Disney World I measured a child to make sure she was tall enough to go on Splash Mountain. She was tall enough. Her father turned to me and called me a bee. This was my first Christmas away from home. When I was a lifeguard, we had a height requirement for a slide. When parents got pee I wouldn't let their kid ride anyway I said this. Hey I'm cool with letting your kid ride down. But follow me to the office where you can sign a waiver saying you're cool with your daughter dying. Her riding the slide is obviously more important than her safety. I had to search for a wheel lock key in a customer's car once. I am a mechanic. She was a hoarder. It was hatred at first sight. What did she hoard? Why her car was full of her used tampons and menstrual pads. I couldn't find it and she said I was a terrible mechanic for not being able to rotate her tires. The smell took a good hour to wash off and I got a long break for that. Working in the clothing portion of my campus store in college, an alumna came I with her band of 7 children, all hers, and asked me to find clothes for all of them, and of course everyone wanted something different and specific. So I start helping, and all 7 of the kids start running around, pulling clothing off hangers and racks, and really causing a lot of totally unnecessary chaos and destruction. I ask the mom to keep her kids close and to ask them to put stuff back or at least stop touching stuff. And boy oh boy, this woman lost her freaking crap towards me. She started swearing at me and stormed out of my section with a huge amount of clothes threatening to tell my manager about my attitude and don't you know who I am? I could buy and sell you, don't make me take my business elsewhere. And shocked, I started to clean up my section. An hour later, I was finishing up and found a piece of notebook paper folded in half with my name on the outside. She had gotten one of her kids to write, Vic Maplum, is a freaking bee, die and frick you, in crayon and leave it for me to find. And that's the meanest thing a customer has ever done to me. I used a cashier at a department store. It seemed that whenever a customer was in a bitchy mood, S he felt entitled to dump on the poor girl at the checkout. So, our store decided to add some reserved parking spaces for pregnant women. Shortly thereafter, a crabby male customer was checking out at my register and snarled. First you have handicapped parking and now you add parking for pregnant women. What's next? I responded. Parking for buttholes. You can be the first one. I was so happy to leave that job. Working at Chick-fil-A at 16, I was a cashier working the counter during breakfast. The manager hadn't come back with the change from the bank so I didn't have a lot of change left in my drawer. I had a line of a few people in front of me and so did the other girl next to me. I started running out of change and let the guy know that unfortunately I wouldn't be able to take his order at my register because I didn't have change to give him and the girl next to me would have to take him. He got uber pee and started screaming and yelling at me telling me how horrible and stupid I was and how I freaking ruined his morning. Totally created a scene in front of everyone. On top of this I was super emotional and burst into tears. The owner came out and asked the guy to leave and told him he wasn't welcome at that chick fil any longer. I moved over to the end of the counter and started portioning out cheesecake while trying to compose myself and a few ladies came up to me to tell me I was doing a great job and to ignore that man. Kind of restored my faith in humanity. TL. DR. Dude freaked out trying to buy breakfast at Chick-fil-A and made me cry. Owner expelled him from the property and told him he was banned. My first ever job. A lady came in and asked where the toilet was. As we were a small knick-knack store, we didn't have one for the public to use. So she took a vase off the shelf, peed in it, and put it back. In all its steaming, yellow glory. Guess who had the privilege of cleaning that up? Not me personally, but I was in a McDonald's during the lunch rush. This old guy in front of me started harassing the girl at the register, who was obviously fairly new. He asked her where she was from and then asked if everyone from that town was as dumb as she was. 
He turned to me after saying this and was just like am I right I flat out told him right there that she was doing her best at the busiest part of her shift and that him being a dong to her wasn't going to make things any better or easier. When I got up to the counter I told her I was sorry she had to deal with pricks like that at work. I hate it when a freaking idiot tries to involve you in being cruel to another person. It's like they need to confirm for themselves that they aren't crappy people by getting somebody else in on it. I was a store manager for the mess stop. Return policy is pretty basic. No cash or credit back on a new game. Save your no game is sealed at Gamestop haha. <laughs> Up 14 year old kid approaches counter with crappy movie based game they had bought from another location the previous day. Mom is speaking for him. We bought this and he didn't like it, so I want my money back. Okay. Mom. I'm sorry but our return policy on new games is no refunds once the seal has been broken. That's stupid. How do you know if it's a good game? Then? Well. That's one of the reasons we're more lenient on our used product. If you purchase a used copy and don't like it, we'll gladly give you your money back. Well I want my money back now. While mom and I are arguing, the kid has been browsing. Picked up a copy of Battlefield Bad Company 2 and is tugging her arm telling her he'll just switch it out for something else. Now, this is still not within policy, but the kid didn't do anything wrong. And I approve of his decision this time. And mom is pee me off. Mom, I'd be more than happy to say, switch it for another game. Well we don't want anything in your store, we want our money. Number, no mom, I want this game. Mom, I'm offering you more than I have to, I'd be more than happy to switch it for that game he has. We don't want anything here. Mom, I want this game. Fine, fine, give it to that fat butt and let's get out of this crap hole. Mom, what did you say? Cool and smirking, nothing. Here, he wants this. Get out of my store, now. So here is a story where I thought I was dealing with the worst customer I have ever encountered. But it turned out to be an awesome experience. I was working in home theater at a national retailer that no longer exists. I'm sure you can figure it out. I spent hours with this guy who bought TVs, sound systems, installations, and accessories for 2.5 full systems. 3 rooms. There was a lot of negotiating and with the help of managers we were able to settle on a price for all of this. Honestly, even though service at the time, and probably still is, extremely expensive, I think this was a fair deal for everyone. Not unexpected, the jerk installers who won, were not very good too, had terrible attitudes and 3, were third party so didn't have to deal with this national retailer directly happened to royally screw up this entire install. I felt really bad for the guy because even though he got a good deal for all of this, he spent no less than 6k on all of this gear. I had no idea the install went wrong until he walked into my location while I was working. Typical for retail. I asked him how's the new setup which is when he started screaming in my face. This was several years ago so my memory is a bit fuzzy, but I recall him explaining, between his expletives, that after the installers messed up his wall, they just darted for the door and drove away. Now, he was demanding that I fix this or he would return his sale. I was riding on this sale to hit my goals for the month so I could ride easy the rest of the month. We were on little to no commission, but not hitting sales goals generally meant termination. I decide to go to this guy's house and I was terrified. I show up, he has a case of beer and some pizza waiting for me. I declined the beer but did enjoy myself a slice. After hanging out, drinking soda and eating pizza for a bit, we tag team this installation, and it looked gorgeous after we finished. Everything worked well and we had a really good time doing it. Afterward, he invited me to stay and watch the game on the new TV and even invited me to a couple of events that he was throwing. Dude was pretty loaded. I declined coming to the events, but it was really an awesome experience. TL. DR. Installers botched a TV sound system install. I, the sales guy had to fix it. Customer who was once P, ended up treating me like gold. I used to work in the deli bakery department at a grocery store called Kroger. There was this mute autistic guy trying to order a steamed plate lunch. He wanted a certain piece of chicken and I kept getting it wrong every time I picked up a piece. He got mad after the second attempt to help him. I even grabbed a pen and paper so he can write down what he wanted in the beginning yet he declined. He came behind the counter and hit me in my shoulder. 
let me tell you that special people have special strength. His punch sent me back a few steps and right before I swung to hit him back, security tackled him. I used to be a call center monkey for a cell phone company, customer service, I've had customers threaten to kill me, curse me, my mother, my family, and my non-existent cat, none of those really bothered me, the meanest customer I have ever had the pleasure of speaking to was a lady who was probably in her mid to late 30s. A little backstory. Back in the day we had this promo thing going on, where if your minutes or text usage for the month reached a certain figure, you would get points. You could then redeem those points for a day weekend week of free texts calls. This is in a country that does not have unlimited plans so it was kind of a big deal. Important to note, that when you redeemed your points, the free whatever would kick in at midnight of that same day and could only be used the next day. You had to either go on the website or call us to sign up for it, and it was advertised everywhere. We were obligated to tell you that when you redeemed your points, and we definitely did. Anyway, this lady got free texts for the weekend, which is awesome. She either forgot or neglected to give a single frick about the midnight thing. From 5 o'clock in the afternoon until midnight this lady sent 3000 texts. I am sure some of those were duplicates, just for the heck of it cause it's free, but the number was still 3 freaking thousand texts, and she got charged for them. So she calls us up and is understandably upset, because it was one heck of a bill. She demands that we reverse the charges or give her a refund. I am unable to do this, since the terms of the promotion were clearly stated every freaking where, and not even in small prints. I try to explain this, offer a free texting package for her next billing cycle, whatever I can actually do in order to help. Yeah, no. For the entire duration of the hour conversation she speaks to me in this condescending, uppity tone of voice, spelling out words slowly, you know what I mean, and insisting that I was the stupidest person in the entire world for not getting what she wants. She mocks me for being in customer support, asking me if I couldn't get a real job, etc etc. I don't know why this conversations hit me so hard, I think it was mostly the way she spoke to me rather than the actual thing said, it was like I was a cockroach on the bottom of her shoe not even worthy of her time. It ended up being a 35 minutes conversation, we were only allowed 3 minutes per customer, and my supervisor had to eventually take the call. I was very close to tears while speaking to her. We ended up bringing up her text log and hand counting every text she sent before midnight. She got a refund for those, because that's how my company worked. But lady, if you're out there, screw you. That wasn't very nice of you. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.